Hey yo, what is up legends? We got a new shirt. I know this one has taken way, way longer and I'm super, super sorry. But again, I've been working with a real artist just like last time and he asked if he could pretty please have a little bit longer to work on his original design, which of course I said yes. And he sent me these two really, really cool designs that are based on one, the themes of volleyball, but then two, a lot of the stuff that I know that like myself and you can apply to real life a lot as well. So I'm not going to talk about them. I hate it because I have something even cooler to tell you about. This first one here is the growth shirt, which I think is fucking sick. I love these shirts because I just wear them to the gym and when I'm back playing volleyball now, if you haven't seen that video, I've got a mic'd up volleyball game. There's a growth shirt and then there's also this unstoppable power shirt that you'll see on the screen here. Now, both of them are super, super cool. I love the shirts because it lets me hide my power level while still showing off some things that I care really deeply about. Now, I made some super quick changes because I know last time a heap of people were upset because they missed out and because either they watch the video a couple days late because they were busy or they're in a different time zone. So this time I've made it so that both designs will be able to get picked up by you guys at a later date ongoing. But if you do place an order within the first two days that this video comes out, you'll go into the draw to win a full free extra shirt of your choosing, whichever size, whichever design that I will ship out to you with your order when it goes out there as well. So I think they're super, super cool. Thank you guys so, so much for listening and for all your support as always. And now the second thing that I wanted to tell you, and I'm telling it second because it's completely separate to that, all right? I'm not saying it now because I'm like, hey, we've got these really cool shirts, right? This is separate. Just ignore the first thing I said now. You'll be watching this on Monday, Australia, and it's also my birthday. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. If it's the 23rd of September when you're watching this, because Australia is technically ahead of time and I'm kind of like a time traveler. You could call me Doctor Who. But yes, it is the big 26. I'm on the wrong side now of 25. I've taken out my spot at the nursing home, but I just wanted to let you guys all know and just to say special thanks. You know, I know my YouTube channel is only relatively new and I haven't been here for very long, but I have enjoyed this year so much and getting to spend so much time with all of you watching all these cool different shows. Then I get to interact with you all in the comments, in my Discord, on Twitch, all these other different things, the cool things I've been sent. You guys being there on some of my other videos, it has been absolutely wonderful. And I know I say it a lot, but I am honest that I am always so, so grateful to have got to have meet so many wonderful people and to get to be like this one big friend group watching these amazing, amazing shows. So we're just gonna cut the intro there for today. I hope you've all had the most amazing day. I definitely will have, and I'm gonna be stuffing my face with pizza because I always get pizza on my birthday. And whatever you did today, I am super, super proud of you. And I know you gave it your best, and that is always all that matters. And without any further ado, let's jump into this next reaction. Hi, QT on my birthday. Also, I know people were upset that little Bogoto got thrown. He was EP and he's now gone for a forever right. sleep. Okay, he's fine. Oh wait, yes, yeah, Suki said, come with me for a sec. I assume he's getting him food, right? Because we know that Hinata doesn't get fed until he gets home here, which is brutal. That was the definition of a double take, dog. Oh shit! Suki asking him to come help him practice? Look at his face. <laughs> this shirt isn't good for holding him close. Little bow. Of course that other guy didn't say anything because he's seen him block Ushijima. This is, bro, I feel like this whole, <laughs> whilst I said I didn't feel secondhand embarrassment for Hinata, this whole start of the season has just been like Suki getting embarrassed simulated. Just even that in there. <laughs> it's like, hey, you come and practice with me. We're going to do blocking. And Hinata screams out to everyone, Suki's going to practice with everyone. Just what the introvert didn't want to happen. It's so fucking funny. I love their, their interactions as well. Oh shit, is this Kageyama? Episode 4, Take It Easy. Yum! Wait, did I just say his name? No, okay. I don't know who this is. And there's someone I know around. What? Is that the same guy? 
No. Broccoli number one. Oh no. Okay, I shouldn't have fucking paused it. I don't know who this is then. Wait, is it him? It's been hard to get along with him. I don't remember that guy being very good. How is he at this elite thing? Huh? Also, if I sound a bit weird today, it's because I've just been to the dentist. My team lost a full set at the finals. So he's not going to nationals. <gasps> yes! I want to learn more about you, Sak Sakusa. No, he was playing better than usual, I would even argue. He was playing rabid. Hinata was making him rabid. Ah. Oh. He's so shocked. Yeah! Someone did manage to stop him. Twice! Technically, uh, Nishinoya dug it as well. <laughs> oh, shit. This dude's like... As negative... I wouldn't have said negative, just obsessive. Okay. Isn't that cool, though? They show, like, the weight of that there. Like, him being like, how did he, like... How did he lose? So, obviously, this dude's another top three... He's played with Uchijima a lot, and he holds him in very high regard. So the fact that he's like, how did he lose? He's like, I can't even conceive that there's someone good enough to beat him. You haven't actually gotten serious yet. Burn! Thinks his shoulders, damn, I can relate to that. What a burn! But usually with Kagiyama, it's right. Way more normal than I thought you'd be. Yeah, well, you haven't seen him do anything cool yet. You're germaphobe, that's fair. And so I think someone was saying that dude's on his team as well. Yeah, true. Such a Kageyama thing to do. Yeah, what is he... Is he eyeing everyone off? He wants to see who's a threat? <laughs> I mean, I thought he was just going to say crazy. Yeah, I remember seeing him last time. He's got weird eyes. Dog, has he got eyeliner on? Yeah, it's the Kendall Jenner... Uh, sandstone grey. I just made that up. It is weird that you're here. I was thinking this. It's not weird that it's at Shiratori Zao, but why is this guy holding it? I didn't think that he was, like, the party team was cool. But I didn't think he was that good a coach, man. They gave the manager more of, like, some limelight over him. Not throwing, well, I guess it is, I'm tr not trying to throw shade, but I'm just confused as to why they would pick him over next to anyone else. I don't know. They're probably about to answer it. Bro's not trying to change shit. Wait, is he trying to change him? Oh, here's the tea. Spill it. Spill it. Oh, I don't really like seafood. Unfortunately, I wish I did. This guy looks like Connie. Wasn't he smiling? Like evil grin? Like I'm going to go home and beat my grandchildren? Sorry. Yeah, I remember. He was smiling. <laughs> Fuck you! Show me! Alright, he was smiling. I remember he was smiling. Which is he insinuating. Look, I'm still... I still don't like him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I read the comments. Alright, I understand. But so they're insinuating here maybe that he saw someone little win. 
And although he's all against it in his brain, maybe he was smiling being like, hey, maybe there is hope. I don't know. Those oysters look not nice. I'm sorry, I can't eat them. In China, when I went to China, they eat so much seafood. Do oysters make you sick? Yuck. Oh, he enough to play an outside? Oh, shit! So he was looking where his hands were and hit around them? What they thought he was... <laughs> such a such a hina type thing to do. Do I look like I'm a liberal? Such a him thing. Shh, just don't listen. Shit, three middle blockers. I actually, <laughs> I actually really like this guy. I think he's mad funny, and he's good, and I like his attitude. <clears throat> you got this young dude. Oh! What am I going to say? No one on the line. <laughs> that was someone's fault. The line was so left open then. But he hides his, like, which way he's going to hit really, really well. Mm, I like doing this. Yo, I literally did this. Oh, this is a perfect chance for me to promote it. Yes! I'm going to show a clip here of when I, I had my first game back after injury uh, on the weekend. Playing just at a club level to start off again, get back into it. But I did this, I hit a cross it high into the block and it got picked up. And I got set straight away the next point. I did the exact same approach, outside looking like the cross, and then hit it down the line. Check out those videos on the Sunday. They're kind of cool. Tell me who you think reminds you of characters from Haikyuu. Also, I kept all the embarrassing moments in of myself because I played not great. So maybe it'll be like, hey, I can't play volleyball for you. Sorry, we're going back into it now. He is good. I like all the people here at this camp. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Yep. Yes. Mm, it's a good chance for you to practice. Mm, that was so funny. No. Oh, shit. All right, we're getting more back and forth here. I like it. Oh. Okay. Kagama getting some advice. All right. Kagama. Well, that would be tough. A left handed middle blocker, damn. There's that crazy talk. So, this dude is from the same team as the really good spiker. Kagama looks so funny, man. Yeah. No, he's not. But look, he's trying so hard. Yeah. Who is this? He just served it. He's got no eyes. Yeah, that's crazy animation, dog. It's all right. I understand. COVID was a hard time. It's Kylie Jenner. Oh, my God. He's morphing. Oh!
They've been giving him my sound of this epic soundtrack? Damn! Holy shit, he does plyometrics every day. We're watching that again. That was fucking sick. Ooh, the foot plant whip around really. Look, I have to talk about it, all right? You want to jump higher? Listen up! When I say plyometrics, all right, I've had people in Discord ask me, like, what's plyometrics? You've never heard of it. I actually don't know the definition. I'll probably put it up on screen, but it's like explosive training exercises that you do low reps of, but high power exertion. I'm not an exercise scientist. So I'll put the definition up. But you saw then, fuck! Hinata always falls out when I try to get up. This is why Bogoto is better than going to nationals. Hinata's going to nationals. You come around, I don't know how I'm going to show you this, but let's just say you're running in, right? And we saw, I'm running in this way. Here's my right foot. It's going to plant. And then we saw what's a big judge of how high you're going to jump is how hard and fast you can plant that foot. And then this foot whip around like, whoosh. and that's what, that's how I actually hurt my knee. Some people hurt their knee because they don't strengthen their knee and it puts a lot of pressure on it. But you're going boom hard fast and so that pulls all the energy that's going forward into the up boom arms boom up chest where you want to hit there you go now you're jumping higher merry christmas everyone that's my birthday present this dude is cool though man i'm buying his eyeliner for sure and look i'm not gonna lie i like the blue color it looks sick and the fact that he jumps so high and he hit that so deep means that he is a really good hitter. He has a lot of options. Mmm, smart. Is he excited because he's like, like because he's good? Or because he like reminds him of Hinata? Yo, I fucking love that stretch. Here we go. Such a Kageyama answer. Okay. I wonder how tall he is. Oh, he's playing mind games? Kageyama's not surprised because he's plays with you. Oh! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Hang on, I'm not gonna s just listen to that again. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna see if I'm proven right. You can tell what I'm thinking. Oh, not chocolate donuts. Yeah, <laughs> What's with these older setters having this fucking ha 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 laugh and being the evil villain to Kageyama, man? Bro laughed off to the side and showed his jawline just like they did Oikawa! You're actually a goody two shoes, see? Mother, fetch me the jam. Also, I apparently I forgot last episode, but drink your water. Somebody roused on me in the comments. You know what is justified? You can all unsubscribe if you want. Don't quit me on 10,000. But drink your water, all right? It's my birthday, which means you have to, if usually you're like, ah, that's funny. And then you like sip your energy drink. It's my birthday.
Drink some water. I don't care if you didn't want a shirt. Drink some water. Ooh, look how focused he is, dog. Is this still the same night? Is he doing ball boy stuff now? Sure, our observant. Oh no, this is the next day? I hate when that happens, dog. Volleyballs always get stuck in the worst places. All volleyball players here can relate. They get stuck in the railings, up in the nets. Anywhere a volleyball can get stuck, it'll get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why does bro sound like a stalker? That would be cool. That gives you a really good angle to... Did he just... Hmm. Looks like he did a split step. Oh, he's... Oh, he got that up? Oh, no, okay. Let's say he looked really flat-footed. Mm. Oh, wait, is he talking about Kunimi? Ah, uh, this Kunimi is like, I Yeah, see, he hate when Kageyama said that to him. Least favorite phase number two. Go all out. He saves his energy. That's his thing, right? I don't really like it, but... Yeah, he's a bit lazy, so that he can do some things later on. But you should just be good enough that you can do it all game. Ooh, two on two? Hell yeah, like some beach volleyball. You just don't understand him. He just has a different style of volleyball. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Taking it easy. That's what the episode's called, isn't it? I love these. That's when the brain work comes out. Big strategy. Mm-hmm. No one else to blame. Oh, why was that so sad? What? Why are we talking like this? Is he struggling? Put him with the best person then. Make it a challenge for the best person to bring him up. Like they did with Levin Kemba. What did that just say? Oh, this said no drinking allowed. No dinking. That's smart. You can't go up to Spike and then tip. Alright, who's on whose team? Kunimi with Kawashita. I don't know who that is. Kendaichi with... Okay. I wonder if they'll swap the teams up. Can pass. Oh yeah, I don't know who that is. That was a dink! Was that not a dink? That's a set of dump. I guess that's different. <laughs> Bro's like a cat. Yeah, because he's smart, bro. Man, if Kemmo was here, he would dominate this. Has more time. Does he pass the ball way higher? Hang on. Or was it something to do with... No, it just looks like he passed... If you want to slow down the game, you just pass the ball higher. Or if you want to speed it up, you just pass it lower. That's what the, you know, the legend of the beach volleyball giant, which I found a video of. Oh my god, I can put it in. Let's see if I have one. They would always pass the ball so low you'd like these are the guys i talked about who were like national ex-national players and you'd serve your hardest serve and they would have such good control of the pass and the situation that they could pass it low and fast so that every single play they would run in beach was like a quick every single time no matter where they'd run it was a quick 
So you would serve, and it's like boom, boom, and it's coming back. You the blocker can't get ready, and then if they hit on sec, I'm having PTSD flashbacks. It doesn't happen as much in indoor unless you're trying to run a really fast middle. But the opposite of passing it really high does happen a lot if you're trying to allow your hitters a chance to transition or get a proper run up. Check them off. I don't. I, I just know him as a two meter tall guy. I don't know his name. Why is he struggling to hit? Damn. Ah, this music's really sad. He just doesn't have a knowledge of the game, game sense yet. Who is his teammate? Why? Where's the coaching right now? Well, who's his teammate? We need a leader here. Who's he playing with? Oda? Who the fuck is Oda? Ah, oh, dog, this is really sad. What the fuck? Oh, that's what a horrible thing to say about yourself. Mm, he's acting on his emotions. But you have been chosen to be amongst people this good. No. Think how lucky you are to be given that opportunity. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Amen. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
Oh, he's a tall boy. It's probably a big jump. Oh. Let's take it easy. <laughs> oh, the sound and the music. でも慌ただしい試合中に忘れがちなことバレーはボールを落とすことも持つことも passing the ball high そして自分が積極的に楽をするそれを託した相手も That's right the setter <笑> Get your breathing right with the movement. The... Did you just tell him to pass it higher? This is so cool, man. Why is it making me emotional? Mm, totally changing the rhythm of the game. Look at his face. Damn! Damn! And that was such an easier play. Mm. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Mm. Oh. I fucking love this so much, man. Oh, I just, I see so much of what I try to do in this show as well, which I just love. And I just say to you guys all the time, you know what? I actually, I saw a lot of comments on the recent video that I put out about the mic'd up volleyball. A lot of people saying, hey, this looks so much fun. You know, I wish I had the confidence to go play or go to a new club or whatever. And I think you should just go do it. And when you're going and you're scared and you're on a new team with new people, give compliments. There you go. There's a little secret. Go there. Somebody is struggling with their serve and they finally get a serve over. Hey, nice serve. That was so great. Or someone makes a mistake and you're there like, hey, it's okay. We're just going to get the next one. Start there. If you're that reinforcement of positive energy like Hinata is, you're just naturally going to make friends and get along with people so much better. Obviously, the world and how you develop is so much more complex than that. But who cares? That's life, man. You learn that as it goes. I fucking love this show. Beyond belief. Was he stressed now that they... Were... <laughs> oh, he's learned the power. He understands now. I love that. He understands now. Whoa, he's drawn really well there. What the fuck? What's going... <laughs> what I was saying there at the end was that the Datek setter understands now what he was saying that although Kunimi is different and he doesn't play how he usually plays, he has all of his other strengths, which is just this thing, right? You'd see the two meter tall guys being not as strong as everyone, but the best leader and the best playmaker in that team would be like, okay, if they got put with him, how would I still win in this situation? Even with this player that isn't that good, how am I going to bring them up? So we can still win. There's a chance to always, always win. You can either sit there and complain that this team's so strong. I'm so weak. Or you can spend that time working on instead, how can I beat them? How can I win? What do I need to do? I love this episode, man. I love this show. Even though, you know, this episode, there was some more bits with the animation. And I feel like I'm just saying it because it's there. But like, just, I literally don't give a fuck. You're always willing to ex excuse like moments of bad animation for a phenomenal story, for phenomenal characters, for phenomenal dialogue. All right. So I literally could never, ever give a fuck about the animation as long as the story stays good. Jujutsu Kaisen, amazing animation. The worst storyline in history. Sorry. All right. The shit makes me angry because it's such wasted potential. But don't hate me for it. Sorry. <laughs> but... I love this show, man. The character building. And now, you know, they're building Hinata's relationship with all these other people from the other schools. So, that, you know, when we come up to verse them again, 
what like, we can have endless amounts of interactions here now. and then the same thing is happening with Kageyama and these other characters although it's not as positive um for when i'm assuming we're going to go to nationals and see some of them who are there so it is really really cool the way they're building it out bring in these even more elements you know we had the split step last episode now they're talking about the concept of passing a really high suki talking about the different blocking strategies there's this amazing story and characters woven in with so much depth in the volleyball which i'm sure like a lot of you who have probably watched it will like assumed it or didn't realize but it's just i i just it's crazy to me how in-depth they go on the volleyball detail which probably especially when this first came out I reckon 90% of the audience wouldn't have even realized, right? The first people that would have watched this would have just been anime, people who loved anime, right? Not a lot of sport people. And they wouldn't have even realized all these little details that they put in it. But they still did it anyway. Bro's there playing the long game. So I absolutely love it. But look, Legends, I'm going to get food. It's my birthday. I'm still going to the gym. We're still doing work. But I hope you all have the most amazing day ever. Thank you so much for being here. And for hanging out with me, it means the absolute world. And I will see you all in the next reaction. All right, legends. Peace.